Ken Walls. Welcome to DigiLead TV. I'm Ken Walls. I'm the CEO and founder of Client Solution Innovations. This is our last episode of the year 2015. I want to wish all of my friends and followers a very, very Merry Christmas. I hope that this is the best Christmas that you've ever had. Okay, I want to I want to kind of finish off the year here. I'm a pretty sentimental guy. Um, I, I like um, I, I like to, as a lot of you know, I like to help people. Um, I like to see people succeed. I like to play part in helping people succeed, if at all possible. So I want to talk about um, some some things that you know some of the gifts. I guess that I received in the in the year 2015. Every single day, seven days a week, even if I'm on vacation with my family, even if I'm, it, it doesn't matter where I am or what I'm doing. I'm I'm constantly thinking about my business. I'm thinking about my clients. I'm thinking about my employees and my team and how to make things better. And you know, I have. Um, and we were talking about how, you know, what are we going to do for the last episode of the year? What are we going to, you know, talk about? What's the topic going to be? And I, I, I said, you know, I'd really like to discuss, I mean, how appropriate would it be for me to discuss the gifts that I've received um, as a result of, of, you know, the year 2015 and, and where I've, where I've, where I've come, where I've been and, and all of that. So I, I want to talk a little bit about that. So, you know, one thing that I'm 100% sure of is last last episode I I interviewed um, I interviewed this guy right here, David Lee Jensen from the author of the Naked Interview. David is a a an author. He's a he's a great guy. He's a motivational speaker and. You know, in our last episode, we talked about how to how to hire like a boss, how to scale your business, and you know, it's 100% not possible to scale a business without employees, almost any time. Even if you're in network marketing, you can't grow without getting more people involved. You cannot grow without having a team. And, and the, the one gift that I would say that I've received, the biggest gift, not the biggest, but a humongous gift is I have a phenomenal team in place here in my company. Back eight years ago when I started this, it was me. It was just me and I was doing design and programming and SEO work and I was doing everything. And um, you know, it didn't take long for me to realize that if I was ever going to grow, I was going to have to, you know, trust people. I was going to have to bring people on. I was going to have to help help those people learn what they were doing, learn and me learn from them as well. And it's just been this has been, you know, this this year started out. Um, it was terrible. I mean, it was absolutely terrible. I had a, a lot of um, things going on in the company that I had to address and, and literally had to start over in some areas with new people and everything. And the team that I have now is absolutely phenomenal. And, you know, I've got Amber, my, my assistant. She's been absolutely phenomenal and a gift to not just me and our team, but to our clients and, and everybody, everybody that we work with. And, you know, I have, I have Rye Guy, our, our Ryan, our, our, my, my videographer and, and producer, and he, he does phenomenal work and he's learning and growing every day. He's on the other side of this camera right now, as is Amber <laughs> over here too. So, um, you know, and then I've got Dom. Dom is my head of graphic design. He's become a very key player in, in my business. I've got uh, Phil who does all of our project management and programming stuff. And I mean, they're just incredible people. And I've got my wife who helps with projects and, and the marketing stuff. And she's literally like the rain man of marketing. And, and, you know, and I've just been blessed with an incredible group of people that work with me and work with my, my clients and, and 
all of our customers on a s everyday basis. They're, they're absolutely a phenomenal team. So that's one of the biggest gifts I've been given in 2015 is, is just having some phenomenal people around me to help, help grow and scale this business. It's been phenomenal. And we're all looking forward to a really, really badass 2016. So, you know, this year I've also, um, I've picked up some unbelievable clients from around the world, literally from all over the world. And, you know, from New Zealand all the way to Los Angeles, to Seattle, to, to Miami and, and Daytona Beach and uh, all over the U.S., uh, throughout the world. We have, I mean, I literally have somebody I just got in Kuwait um, that's, that's from Texas, but just picked him up as a new client this week that, that's living in Kuwait right now. So, you know, I have, I have clients and projects that we're doing all over the world. The clients that I have, I've developed personal, really, really good relationships and friendships with a lot of those clients. And, and honestly, like I get these referrals on a weekly basis from clients that have used us and, and there's nothing, you know, I mean, there's like this cliche, I could receive no better uh, there's no better gift than to get a referral. So thank you for your referrals. I get referrals from clients that absolutely just are, they've become unbelievable friends. I've developed these amazing relationships. I could literally fly almost anywhere in the U S now. And I know I have somebody somewhere that I can call on. That's a client of mine. If I needed some direction or guidance in a city that it's just phenomenal to me. So I'm very, very, very grateful for all of the new clients we picked up this year. Looking forward to blowing up your business next year. We're going to take a break. I'll be right back. Hey, welcome back to Digital Lead TV. I'm Ken Walls, CEO and founder of Client Solution Innovations. Listen, I appreciate you guys being here. Appreciate you checking out the last episode of 2015. This is landing on Christmas Day. Very, very grateful that you're here. Very, very grateful to be on Grant Cardone TV. I've been talking about the things that I, I've been given this year, the gifts that I've been given. And, um, you know, I started with my team and, and my clients and, you know, the, 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 one of the things I want to talk about is my family, my, my wife and my two unbelievably beautiful, beautiful little girls. And I'm a little bit biased. I realize that, but, um, I think they're pretty darn cute. So, um, you know, when, when you are, um, you know, you get up and you go to work every day and you hustle and you grind and you, you, you work and you, you, um, you're out here and you're just, you're, 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 you're busting your ass every day and you're trying to make everybody happy and you're doing everything that you know how to do and can do. And, and you, you fall on your face and you make mistakes and, and you have other people around you make mistakes and you try to correct those paths in your path and you're trying to, you know, not make the same mistakes again. And then you make the same mistake again. You go, shit, I didn't mean to make the same mistake again, but you do it anyway. And you just go, okay, I can't, you know, can't, can't beat myself up. I got to keep going. I got to keep pushing. I got to keep writing my goals every day. I got to keep setting my goals higher. I got to set my goals like Grant talks about so high that it scares the shit out of me. And I, and, 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 and then, you know, at the end of the day, you, you go home and you park your car, you get, walk in through the, the, the garage and, and in my house, it's normally with my dogs freaking going crazy and, and barking and, and, and all of that. And, and, you know, all of the stuff, the, 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 my little girls screaming and yelling and having fun and doing gymnastics throughout the house and, and, and my wife, you know, stressing and, and just, just everything. And it's like, you close that door and all of the, the worries, all of the fears, all of the concerns, everything that you've been, you know, living in fear of and facing and, and fighting and pushing and, you know, all of that stops for a moment because the family is there. 
And I am so beyond grateful for that gift. Um, I've been given that gift, and, and it's been in my life for years. But I think it's been, um, you know, we all take stuff for granted. We all take stuff for granted in, 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 in our lives and in, in every capacity. And for me, this year has been like huge for me realizing that I've got one of the greatest gifts that I could have ever, ever received. You know, I remember 13 and a half years ago, I couldn't find my ass with both hands and a flashlight. I, my life was crumbling. I had a severe drinking problem and I got that all under control. And somebody asked me, gosh, you know, what do you, what do you really want out of life? And I said, you know, I've dated people in the past that they had their, they had their children and I was stepdad or whatever. And, 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 um, you know, the one thing that I really, really want is I really, really, really want to have my own family. And, and it just didn't even seem possible at that time. I was 34 years old, didn't even seem possible. And here today, I've got an amazing wife. I have an amazing five-year-old and 10-year-old. Both of them are daughters. Um, so I also own a lot of guns. I'm kidding. So, um, you know, I, I have... I have this amazing family that sometimes it, it, it truly gets gets like completely like out of control and you know I bring the stress of owning a business home sometimes and but I, I'm I'm nonstop working. I'm always thinking about hustling. I'm always thinking about what I can do to get to the next level and help my clients and help my employees grow and, and our company expand. But at the end of the day, the biggest gift I've been given in my life is my family is my wife and my two little girls. And I'm so, so grateful for that. So grateful for that. So, you know, part of my, of my goals, part of writing my goals, part of, of, of being who I am and, 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 and growing and expanding and, and, and everything is it's, it's about my family. It's about my kids. It's about my wife. It's how to make a better life for them and for me and for, you know, to, to hit my goals and reach my dreams and, and, and all of that. So, you know, I have a tendency of, of focusing on the things that I'm grateful for. I'm no different than anybody else. <clears throat> I have my moments where I feel absolutely hopeless. I feel like the entire world is crashing down on me. I feel like there is no way I'm going to figure this out. I feel, but you know what? I always, 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 always come back to gratitude because whatever your mind focuses on at least for me whatever it focuses on expands okay and if I sit and I worry about this or I worry about that or I feel all this fear about this or fear about that as most of you know fear can be absolutely paralyzing so what I try to do is I try to on a daily basis I try to focus part of my moments it may be early in the morning when I'm writing my goals down I'll also write down things that I'm grateful for and, and things that I want to be grateful for in the future. But I, I, I primarily will focus my gratitude on what I've been given, what gifts I have today. A lot of times that's, that's as simple as my clients, my team, my little girls, my wife, my home, my cars, my whatever. But, you know, I'm very, very grateful for the gifts that I've received in 2015. And, you know, my, uh, again, I go back to my team, all of my, the people that work here for CSI, all of our amazing clients. We go out of our way to, to, to make every single one of our clients feel special and feel great about doing business with us. And, you know, I, I yesterday was talking about we're, we're going to install a button a button this year. I saw a thing on Facebook about a success hack. We're going to install a button into our business this year and it's going to be called the consider it done button. And I forget whose post that was on Facebook, but whoever it was, thank you for that. Because honestly, I think it might have been, uh, it might have been, um, uh, Dale Childress Jr. I think, I think it might have been him, but you know, the consider it done is, is what, what we want to do. We want to make sure that our clients are grateful for us. And, and, and that's, that's what it's about for me. So 2015 has been a very 
eye-opening year for me. It's helped me really learn how to be grateful and focus on that gratitude. I'm grateful for my team, my clients, and I'm incredibly grateful for my family, my wife, and my two little girls. So listen, we're going to take another break, and we'll be right back. Thank you. Hey, welcome back to Digitally TV. I'm Ken Walls. I appreciate you being here. Listen, follow me on Twitter at CEO underscore CSI. That's at CEO underscore CSI. We'll throw that up on the screen so you can follow me on Twitter. Hit me up on Facebook. I love making new friends on Facebook. I love watching some of the posts and and, and, and if you're a negative person and you have a tendency of posting negative stuff, just know that I will block you. So um, I, appreciate, I appreciate anybody, but I, I do not. Look, I wear these bracelets. Don't be a little bitch. Be positive. No negativity allowed and success is my duty. I wear those not just to wear them, but to remind myself not to be a little bitch. No negativity and that success is absolutely my duty. It's my responsibility. So this is the last episode of 2015 that we're doing. We're coming into 2016. We all have big hopes, big dreams, big goals, and, and, and we're going to push hard this year. But, and, and we're going to break some, we're going to break through some barriers. I am 100% positive. We're going to break through some serious barriers this year. So um, the, the very last thing I want to talk about, the, the gifts that I've really been given um, this year, and, and this is the biggest one. This is the, this is the biggest one because without this one, none of the other ones would be able to exist. The biggest gift I've been given, years ago, a mentor of mine said to me, Ken, you have got to learn this one thing. If you learn this one thing, you can have anything that you want in business or in life. And that is giving and receiving is the same thing. It's taken me a long time to really understand what that means. And this year, this year has been the year that I really was able to wrap my brain around what that meant. I, I don't even know, honestly, I have no idea how much I've given away. Not yet. I have given, but this year I've given away a lot. I mean a lot. I've given to people that, 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 um, were on my team that are on my team i've given away i gave away 14 seats to to grant cardone's um i believe it was the 10x super life i think that was it 10x super life webinar um, i gave away 14 seats to that i know a couple of the people that i gave seats to to that webinar that i paid for out of my pocket um, they were competitors of mine they're in the same business um, and most people would be like, I'm not giving to my competitors. That's not what it's about for me. I, I, hey, I, I wish everybody well. There's plenty of business out there to go around. There's plenty of people out there that need help. And I know that if all, you know, 100 million of those businesses came to me right now and needed my help, I wouldn't be able to help them all. So, hey, I, I want to spread the love. I want to help as many people as I can. So, you know, the, the biggest gift that I've been given in 2015 that, that helps all of the other gifts is learning the gift of giving. And I mean giving without expecting anything in return. I've given to a lot of people and I, I, I honestly have no idea how many people. I don't go back and watch my periscopes. Some people go back and watch their periscopes. I don't have time for that. I just know that people get on my periscopes, they get on, you know, different, different social media things. And I am always looking for an opportunity to help somebody. And if I can help somebody and touch their lives in any way that, that positively impacts them, whether I benefit directly from that or not, doesn't matter for me because I have learned finally at 47 years old in the year 2015, that if I give without expecting anything in return, that I'm definitely going to receive something back. 
and I don't know, always know, it's not always in the form of money, it's not always in the form of, of, of material things, sometimes it's just in the form of, of I, I, you know, I see somebody tear up and cry because they are so touched by, by how it's changed their life. And, you know, for me, <clears throat> nothing's more important. Nothing is more important. If I could give my girls one thing, my daughters or people that work for me or anybody, if I could give them one thing to help them positively change their lives, that is to learn how to go out and help other people out without expecting anything in return, without expecting anything in return. I've done stuff for people worth millions and millions and millions more than, than I have and, and never expected anything back from them, ever. But I've gotten stuff back from them and from a lot of other people as a result only because I was willing to give. And I don't know what it took. I don't, I've, I've known this for a long, long time. I've, I've heard other motivational people for years say if you help other people get what they want out of life, you can have anything you want out of life. I don't know why it took this long for it to, to really, really click, but it's clicked. And, and I do know that I can have anything I want out of life by helping enough other people. So that is my mission. My mission in life is, is to, you know, and this is a great vehicle because I love technology. I love marketing. I love what we do. I love helping our customers and our clients grow. I love seeing the light come on for them when we're talking about how to increase their numbers and their lead flow and their search engine optimization and their Facebook and, and, and everything else. I love what we do and I love helping people excuse me I love helping people grow and 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 watching the light come on and and I I have I, I, I the greatest gift I've been given this year is learning to to give learning to give and and by doing so my team, the energy is always up. The, the, well, not always. Sometimes Rye Guy, my camera guy, gets depressed. I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's standing right there behind the camera, so <laughs> he doesn't. No, we have a great team. We have a great environment, and we all live to give here. We all are always thinking, like, how can we make it better? How can we make the world for our clients and our future clients, how can we make the world a better place for them? And that's the mindset that I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, 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 to facilitate in, in my business and across with my clients too. I have clients that are incredibly negative people and I really take that like as, a, as an opportunity not to judge them but to sit and go, okay, how can I help them get out of that negative mindset and into a positive mindset? How can I help them? What questions can I ask them to get them to have a mindset shift into being a more positive person because as you know and I know, you're not going to attract positive results with a negative mind. It's not going to happen. You're not going to create or manifest what you want in life by sitting around moping, being a little bitch, and, and acting like a little punk with a negative mindset. You've got to have a positive outlook and a positive mindset, and you've got to get rid of the negativity to, to manifest what you want in life. So, you know, listen, 2015 has been an incredible year. We've had lots and lots of ups and downs. Lots of ups and downs. I have never, ever, in any year I've been in business, have I ever invested as much money as I've invested this year in my company. I've taken everything to a whole new level in this business. Everything. Everything in our business, this studio that I'm sitting in right now, the software, the, the upgrading every single computer I have to IMAX with 5K monitors and all of that stuff, to everything that we do, I've super invested in everything with Cardone's group, with, with Grant Cardone TV, with, with everything that I'm doing. And it's, it's, look, I've not gotten the return yet on everything. I've gotten some return on some of it, but I haven't gotten much return on a lot of it. But I know this, I know this, this one simple thing is if I take on 2016 with the positive mindset that I have, the super freaking high goals that I have, and 
the ability that I have to give to other people to really significantly impact the world, then I know 2016 is going to be the best year that I have ever had. And I hope and pray for you and your family that it's the best year that you've ever had. And I hope that you guys have a very, very Merry Christmas. If you're watching this on Christmas Day and you're celebrating Christmas with your family, what the hell are you doing? Go spend time with your family. I'm kidding. I really appreciate you being on here. And, and, and I, listen, I got to say this, okay? The, the one last thing that I want to do is this. The very first email I receive from whoever's watching this show right now, I'm going to send you a really cool gift package. You'll be the last gift I send in 2015. I'll probably send you a Grant Cardone book and some other books and some, some bracelets and some really cool stuff. The very first person to email me at Ken at ClientSI.com you're going to receive some really cool gifts from me. I don't care where you live in the world, it doesn't matter, we'll work it out. We'll figure out how to get it to you. I'll put Amber on a plane and fly that shit to you, I don't care. I'm kidding, we won't do that, but we'll, we'll get it to you, okay? It doesn't matter where you live. So Amber, get your passport ready. So um, no, anyway, thank you guys so much for an awesome year. Thank you for watching DigiLead TV on Grant Cardone TV. I'm very, very grateful for all of you. I appreciate all of your referrals, all of your business. I appreciate all of the kindness and love and support that you give us and give me and my team. Thank you guys so much. Have an awesome Christmas. Have an awesome rest of your holidays. And let's go kick some ass in 2016. See you soon.